so a couple of things just kind of laying around here. Seabreeze Village. You're a long way from home. These fishermen are no pushovers themselves. They should be able to hold their own with a little help. Did he owe you mo any money? He always sends me people that he owes, owes money to. The Naga along this coast appear to be trying to push the shoreline up the hill here. We've been able to keep them back at the beach so far, but they've been binding more elementals than we can keep up with. Without a Tide Sage, we have no way to free the elementals from their bindings, but we cannot allow them to push forward anymore. The Spirit of the Sea should not be contained by anything. Slay them, and let them return to the ocean. The Naga Sorceress leading this excursion seems to be in the process of binding a larger elemental. If she succeeds, we will no doubt lose our foothold here. Funny, she looks very familiar, as if I've seen her before, or at least her model. Strike out at her. Perhaps you can catch her off guard and interrupt the ritual. Remove the head from these snakes. Very apropos. When the Naga Force first arrived, there were a handful of the local fishermen out on boats. One of our scouts reports that most of them have been captured and are currently being, excuse me, being kept in cages around the beach. For any of them that you happen to find and point them back here. We'll get them armed and remind the Naga that you don't mess with sailors. Keep your wits about you out there. All right. We'll do that in just a moment. But first, let's go back to this area where the Flight Master was. Kickers. <laughs> because I flew over here, and I noticed a bunch of little icons over here. Including some quest markers right over here. So. Wanted. Razor Claw Alpha. Adventurers needed. The wolves have been attacking my flock. I don't have the means to fight them back. I've seen one much larger than the rest, leading a few of the attacks. Please, if anyone can help, I'll gladly offer whatever reward I can muster. Shepherd Mary Ann Millbrook. Okay. There's a new hearthstone in there right over here. Well, may as well just go ahead and bind it here, since this is where I'm going to be for a while. Lord Admiral's faith. Hello, hello, Carol. Keep the wind in your sails. Sure. There's a treasure right over here, it seems. No path available. Come on. Just let me jump up there. What? Oh, what happened? There we go. Weird. Ship in a bottle. Amaral's black rum. A bottle of rum aged too many years, overpowered by smoky oak and burnt tar flavors. Ugh. And a faded treasure map. By the way, uh, after I cut off, I noticed there was a pile of treasure next to Leo. And he gave me a little advance on my cut. And he left this note. I don't have your share of the treasure yet. Maybe next week. I hope this holds you over until then. So a nice guy. Definitely a nice guy. Now let's see if I can find these other quests that I have over here. Oh. Every hand helps. Granny is everyone out running errands trying to put our hamlet back in order. I don't know what to do. The rats have gotten into our stores. They're eating everything in sight. I tried prodding one of them to get it to move along. It started foaming at the mouth, and then it exploded. I think I know where all the gunpowder went. If you recover any, can you please take it back to, Mar back to Marie? Or Mary. No, Marie. If it's spelled like that. I didn't sign up for this. I just want to get back to the simple things like grinding wheat and drinking mead. As if things couldn't get any worse around here, there's an army of rats ransacking the shed, and I don't have the stomach to exterminate them. Here, 
I got this off some crazy gnome that stopped into port recently. I thought maybe it'd help with the bees. Maybe you can try it on the rats. There's a cranky chicken. Ever since the untimely passing of dear sweet Lizzie, rest her soul, the pests have multiplied like crazy. In recent days, giant spiders have begun crawling out of the cellar underneath the southern mill. No one has been able to go down there for fear of being wrapped in web and eaten alive. Thanks for putting that horrible image in my head. Would you mind squashing a few arachnids and collecting a silky vine? Sure! Ugh. That's just what I want to do. Let's go face giant spiders like I haven't done that a thousand times in other games. Oh, this Every is hand helps. Hello. Be a deer. As you can plainly see, the rocks f are falling from the sky. We are... See, by the rocks falling from the sky, we are under siege by those terrible Etons. If you could be obliged to lend us a hand, I'd be most grateful. We can't possibly hope to defeat them unless we properly prepare you first. Could you be a deer and fetch a few things for me from around the hamlet? Some water, a sack of flour, and a bundle of logs should help. I've already sent my grandson Charles off to fetch a few other items. I've not seen him for quite a while, though. We will reclaim what's ours. Oh, and if you see my grandson... Please make sure that he's not cowering under a tree somewhere. Too late, I already did. <laughs> Times no, what was the other thing she said? Well, hello there, dear. Might you be able to help me with an errand or two? Only as long as it's no bother, though. Seize grant your favor. Finest wires in cold terrace, right here. Stop by any time. Picked up a lot of quests in this area. You saw that, right? I'm trying to see. It's like, where are these rocks coming in from the sky? It's like, really? Bunch of cranky chickens here. All right, bucket, logs. I'm out of range. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> You went to go fight one on your own? You know, we can fight them together, you know. We actually do both get credit for this. This is not like it was back in Classic or Vanilla, where we had to actually constantly do it separately. All right. Oh gosh, it's exactly what I want to do, is go down to that cellar amongst a bunch of spiders. <laughs> I'm not going to leap because I don't want to... I don't want to kill all these chickens. I don't care if they're cranky. Not here you are, Marie. Here. How are you? Oh, thank you so much. I wish Charles was half as studious as you. Every path has a few puddles. Giant rats! Come on, rats, gather together. Let's go. Gather together in one spot. There we go. Collect them. All right.
Come on, come on, Harry. come on out here. I'd rather be f fighting giant rats than giant spikes. Oosh. Oh yeah, you can do yeah. Hey Naga. Hey. I'll be with you later. I mean, it's not like we're going to be seeing you a whole lot more later on either, right? <laughs> oh, look at that. It actually chained to another nearby bilge rat. How about that? I did not mean for that to rhyme. the bilge rats collected. Gosh, isn't all. Uh, I am so sick of giant spiders being a common thing in games. I am so sick of it. And not just in games, just anything. It's in everything, and I'm so sick of it. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> ah! My screen. Ah! You know what? Follow me outside so I can get the camera. So I can zoom the camera away. Ah! I need to get closer. Oh my gosh. Of course, it's not just a giant spider, it's a giant black widow spider. Of course it, it is. Oh my goodness. Seriously, game developers, come up with something else for us to fight other than giant spiders. There's plenty of other different kinds of enemies that people can fight out there without having to trigger, without having to trigger them. Seriously.
Oh, I was gonna leap. Oh, wait, I'm rooted. Closer. Oh, look at this. The rats and the spiders are fighting each other. Huh. I certainly would not live here if this was like a common occurrence or problem. Like, nope. I'm moving. I'm out. You're on your own. It's too far away. Times were simpler once. If only Lizzie were still here. We can all rest easier now that those spiders have been squashed. Thank you so much. I'll get rid of these little guys. Seas grant you favor. Hold on a second. Before I go talk to Marie, I think I saw there was a... There's also another quest over here. Well, before I... Talk to her. Found this treasure over here. Our dirty treasure. Oh. Every hand helps. Shepherd Millbrook. Lately, the wolves have been terrorizing my flock. They weren't an issue until the giants moved in and pushed them out of their normal hunting grounds. I feel bad asking you to do this, but could you thin their ranks a bit? If there are fewer wolves c competing for food, maybe they'll leave us alone. I'll admit, Millie has never really been one to follow the herd. Usually it's no problem. She'll just wander off for a bit, do her own thing, and eventually make her way back to the flock. The hills have grown increasingly more dangerous lately, especially with the wolves and the giants about. She's been gone a while, and I'm starting to worry. Could you please help me look for her? We will reclaim what's ours. Okay. Let's go over here. Again, it always points straight down. Talk to Marie. Not from round here, are you? Well, thank you so much. I wish that Charles was half as studious as you. You already said that. I'll go ahead and go with the hand wraps. Unfortunately, Millbrook's flock hasn't been producing lately. What's with all the wolves about, the poor things must be terrified. Wild goats wander the hills, and they are quite fearless compared to the sheep. If you can find a few with 
young ones about, you may be able to persuade them to offer some fresh, delicious goat milk. Okay. Seize grant your favor. Apparently Millie is up here. But where is that uh, razor paw? Over here. Hello there, Horde player. Let's do this. I need to target something first. All right. Feral Razor Claw. Millie, I'll protect you. shouldn't be out here all by yourself. It's really dangerous. Come on. Watch, Millie's gonna fly. Nope, never mind. She's just gonna run really, really fast. There's Millie. Brrrr. Times were simpler once. Oh, my sweet Millie, thank you. I'm in your debt. Wow, I wasn't sure if anyone would ever answer my posting. Thank you. Every path has a few puddles. Oh, level eight. Yep. Increase that. Increase that. Okay. Let's see. Take damage heal. Uh, actually, this is the one I would wear while I'm DPSing. So yeah, sure. An extra way to heal while I'm doing a DPS back. Sure. And that as well. There we go. Better hand wraps. Go ahead and make sure my mogs are all good. Shop. Browse. Smell. It's a very quick, easy way to be able to make sure that your mog is all set and ready to go. I do want to finish the uh, the set from Tuma Sargeras. Farewell, friend of the Grumble. Haven't quite gotten some of those other pieces yet. Plus, the belt is only drops apparent. I think the belt only drops from. Um... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember that. I did that like last year. Just the na seeing the name Metz in there just threw me off for a moment. But um, the belt only drops from Mythic kill Jaden in that raid. And you guys know how <laughs> fun it is to try and beat Mythic Kill Jaden, right? Hello, boys. Hey. You, come here. So do I, do I have to just keep finding these mountain goats and be like, hey, can you give me some milk? I can't attack that. All right, let's see. I have a meal. Let me see. What the? 
Uh, oh, hello. Well, it actually kind of worked out because it just kind of like threw me towards the wolves I still need to kill. All right. on the law here. We scanned the horizon for home, sailors' eyes on the horizon day and night. We knew not what they what we sought, a matrimony of earth and tide that might shelter our children from the tum from the tumu of life at sea. Alright, so that was part three. If there was a way to like be able to pull up looking at these whenever I want. I would love to just go around and collect them and then just read them to you guys. But as far as I know, there's really no way to do that. All right, so hold on a second. What exactly am I supposed to do on this quest involving the mountain goats? Oh, find a few with young ones about. Oh, like this one here? Excuse me. And he's like, all right, here, have some milk. No, leave the goat alone. No, leave it alone. No, why are you attacking me? No, no, stop it, no. Stop chasing me, goat. No! Oh, that poor goat. Every hand helps. My flock should be able to rest easier Please now. Grant your favor. Oh, and the goat got killed by the spiders. Thank you. I just drop in, ask for milk, and they're like, oh, okay, here you go. I'm like, oh, thank you. Come on. Kill the wolf on your own, goat. You can do it. You're winning. You can do it. Yeah. Nice job. Thank you. Four, six. Okay, now that I know what I'm looking for. It's usually the, always the case with qu these kind of quests. Oh, there are little ones there. Good to see that these goats can win fights against these wolves. There we go. <laughs> so, um, sure, thanks. That's a lot of Etnies. Ah! He's like trying to throw it right at me. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Oh, oh. Okay, so I can't click this. Let me click this. Gotcha. Hey, 9 of 12. Hagel the Hammer. Yeah, this is a dangerous area. Yeah, now I know what they're talking about. This is a lot of Eddins that just kind of moved in here and just kind of took over this place. Wow, that is really close. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Marie, I brought you some goat's milk. Not from round here, are you? Oh, it smells wonderful. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you for helping me collect everything. I couldn't let you go out there and battle those mean Ettons on an empty stomach. Now I would be I would be no better than those terrible monsters if I did that, would I? You just feel free to take a load off while I make you a fresh batch of cookies and some warm milk. We will claim what's ours. 
just a moment, dear. I have something for you. Ah, these are absolutely perfect. Here you go. I couldn't send you out hungry, could I? I hope you like them. Mm, nom, nom. Mm, mm, cookies. Om, nom, nom. I'm like Cookie Monster. Om, nom, 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 nom. Mm, warm milk. Mm. Mm, tasty. Thank you. Times were simpler once. What did you think? Hit the spot, didn't, don't they? Before you head out, dear, I have one more favor to ask of you. Please take these cookies with you to Charles. What sort of grandmother would I be if I didn't bake some for him, too? A terrible one, that's what, and I've no wish to be accused of that. Okay, now here's a little something that I whipped up for you with those extra ingredients. We don't have much around here in the way of weapons, but we've got gunpowder and plenty of flour. A surprisingly explosive combination. Toss one of those goodies at those nasty Ettons. Should disorient them long enough to give them a good whack upside the head. You thought I was just a sweet old lady baking delicious cookies for any old passerby? Ha! I'll have you know that I was quite the firecracker in my day. Hm. Every path has a few puddles. Grandma ain't messing around. Okay, I guess I, I have her blessing to go take down some Ettons. All right, so toss that end to damage and confuse them. Her secret recipe. It's an old family recipe. A flower bomb. Boom. Huh? Blinded for like six seconds. <laughs> Can I toss another one at him and be like, nope, nope, he, he's going to interrupt it. Yeah, that's a, like a 1.7 cast and he's like, nope. Alright, whatever. This is probably going to take a while. <laughs> Alright, uh, hold on a second. What is going on over here? Charles? What are you doing over here? Not from reindeer, are you? Are those cookies I smell? Cookies? From me? Well, thank you. Wait a minute. With a storage shed ransacked by rats and the giants pillaging our shipments, we've been running low on food. When I was making my way out here, I saw a bunch of grain sacks littered about near the wrecked wagons. I'd appreciate it if you could retrieve whatever you find while you're out here. Grandma's always telling me that I need to toughen up a little, how easy we've got it these days. I read a story about giants that are terrified of rats, so I thought, hey Charles, here's a great idea. Let's take all those rats that Nixon has been gathering and let them loose on the Ettons. I tried to be tough for once, but look at how it turned out. And now I'm stuck out here, just hoping that I don't get squashed. Their leader is just up the hill there. Here, take the rats with you and let's hope that I was right. Use the pack of rats to kill Grokfist. Claim what's ours. I'm getting out of here as soon as it's clear. I'll see you back at Grandma's house. Good luck. Uh huh. There he is. Man, you'd have to battle your way up here through all these other ones just to get to him. Oof. Man. Release a swarm of angry bilge rats. Sure. Go! He's like, ah! He's feared. The rats have feared him. Huh! 
Come on. Over here. I don't want you bringing any of the other Etans over here into the side. <laughs> Go, rats. Go. Yes. My army of rats. Yes. No. Stop interrupting me. There we go. Go, my rat army. Go. No, he's going over there. No. Don't bring him into this fight. Well, looks like I have no choice. Yes, go, go, rats, go. Oh, hey, sack of grain. It's too far away. I need to get closer. Of their health of them. Alright. Alright, so obviously those fights are gonna take a while, so rather than boring you guys, let's just go ahead and uh, head on over here, turn this one in. And then we'll probably continue with, you know, I'll go ahead and do those off camera, and we'll probably like start uh, recording those over there. Marie, I'm back. Oh, wait. Oh, Charles. Hey. Times were simpler once. I can't believe it actually worked. I thought for sure we'd all be squished. Every path has a few puddles. Alright. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and uh, finish off these couple of quests over here off camera. And then we will be heading over here to work on this little area over here to help out this town over here. We still haven't even made our way up here or up here, so stay tuned.